Hi, and welcome to the Arithmetic Progressions topic of Mathematics 2 Unit HSC course as a part of Series and Sequences. So, starting off, we, what, what is an arithmetic progression? So, if you think about it, an arith arithmetic progression is just like an increase in like a, it's like a pattern where it increases by a set amount every single time. So, it's also referred to as an AP. So, I'm going to lay out a simple example here. So, AP of suppose we have 1, 5, 9, and 13. So now in this arithmetic progression, in our brains we might have already figured out that it's all increasing by 4. The pattern is that it's increasing by 4. But if I asked you how are you to find this without just looking at it in your brain, what, what would you actually use? What formula would you use to figure this out? And even for more co complex sequences and series, you need to know this formula for arithmetic progressions. So the formula to find what we call the distance, or referred to as d, is equal to term 2 minus term 1, which is also equal to term 3 minus term 2. Now the reason why we have two of these, why we do t2 minus t1 and t3 minus t2, is just to confirm that it is correct. And we can go even, to, even more if you want a more integral check. So, I'm just going to annotate this AP for a little bit just to show you what I mean by term 2, term 1, term 3, and term 2. So, in each arithmetic progression, there's something that we refer to as terms. So, just an example, you should just get this. So, it's, this is term 1, this is term 2, this is term 3, and this is term 4. Now, every single one, just the terms increase as the sequence goes on. And, like, for this, we need it. Main reason being is because it's something that we can refer to. So it's the distance. Let's get back to this. If I wanted to find distance without just thinking about it in my head, oh, how much is it increasing? We can just use this simple thing. So we can use term 2 minus term 1, which is 5 minus 1, as well as term 3 minus term 2, which is 13 minus 9. Now, as we can see, 5 minus 1 equals 4, and so does 13 minus 9. It equals 4. So we can confirm that the distance of this AP is 4. Now, let's move on. I'm just going to show that same arithmetic progression once more so I can annotate it. So we've got 1, 5, 9, and 13. Now, let's just suppose this is our arithmetic progression. I'm going to annotate this so you guys know what I mean when I refer to the formulas. So this is considered the first term. which is also referred to as A. This is considered the last term, which is also referred to as L. Don't get it mixed up with 1, unless you have problems. Anyways, and the distance in between these numbers, so the distance in between these numbers, is referred to as D for distance. So now I've annotated this, you should, you should just remember these three things, because you're going to need to use them in all these formulas. And now, let's have a little look at this. So, okay. Okay, so starting off, if you get a really simple question like this one, find the first four terms in the series whose nth term is given by t to the n equals 4n plus 1. So all you have to do in here, if you think about it logically, is for the first four terms, they've already given you a general equation. So it's already that much easier. All you need to do is sub it straight in. So here we go. We have, for the first term, so let's just uh, write this out. t to the 1 equals 4 times 1 because n is regarding the first term, the first number and then plus 1 which is equal to 5. For the second term it would be just the same except the 4 and the, the 1 gets replaced with a 2 because it's the second term n standing for the second term. So then we get 9 and then so on. So 3, 4, 3, it's 12 plus 1 equals 13. So as you can see here, it's increasing by 4. Increasing by 4. So that's it pretty much. Just go for the th fourth one, finally. So 4 
plus 1 equals 17. <coughs> and that's pretty much it. That's all you need to know. So this is how you do this question. Okay, so moving on, we have a little bit more difficult of a question here. The arithmetic progression 258. Now, just from this, I'm going to derive everything. I'm going to try to figure out these answers. So, okay, for A, it's asking for the expression for the general term, i.e. the nth term. Okay, no worries. To get this, we need a few things. We need A, which is the starting point, which is 2. And we need the distance. Now, looking at this just from uh, far further away, you can tell that it's increasing by 3 every single time. So this is right, d equals 3. But let's just confirm this as well. So <coughs> t2 minus t1 equals 5 minus 2 equals 3. And t3 minus t2 equals 8 minus 5 equals 3. So that, that, that pretty much confirms that the distance of this is 3. Okay, moving on. Now, it's saying we need to write down the expression for the general term, i.e. the nth term, for this arithmetic progression. Now, we should all recall that the formula, the general formula for the nth term, is just t to the n equals a plus n minus 1 to the d, times the d. So now, we can just sub this all in. So we have t n equals a plus, wait, one sec, n minus 1, d, I'm just trying to consolidate it, my bad. Okay, moving on, t n equals 2 plus, alright, so n minus 1, so that's just going to be n, because we don't actually know what n is, and minus 1, 2 times the d, which is 3. Okay, so now let's see how this plays out. We can actually expand this, and that's all we have to do, really. So we get that it equals to tn equals 2. So 2 plus uh, 3n minus 3, and then equals to, so the negative 3 and the 2 plus, so equals negative 1 plus 3n. So t to the nth is equal to negative 1 plus 3, and that's the general formula. So the expression for the general term is this. So that's what it is. So that's A, and we've done it. That's pretty much it. I hope you understood what I did. Um, I'm, I hope it's not that complex. So now let's move on to the next thing. Now it's saying we want to find the 50th term. Now that's not difficult since we know this formula. Now I'm just going to make, make it like a, a little... Uh, I'm just going to emphasize upon this, because this is an important formula you need to know in an arithmetic progression. So you have Tn equals A plus bracket n minus 1 to the d. Now this is going to let you do a lot of things. If you wanted to find the 50th term, all you have to do is sub the n's in for uh, 50. That's pretty much it. And then just sub the a's and the d's in. And it can always work in the other uh, other examples as well, where it says, that, oh yeah, the this term is 400. Find what a and d is. Or something like that. It's always going to help you. So this formula, you need to remember. It is very important. Please remember this formula, because it's going to help you a lot. Okay. Now let's move on. Since we've established that this formula is what we're going to use for this question, it says find the 50th term. We already know that a equals 2 and d equals 3, as we figured out before. So now let's just sub this all in. So we want to find the 50th term. Now I'm just going to sub this all in and see how it works out. So we have t 50 equals a, which is 2, plus n minus 1, which is 49, and that's times d, which is 3. Now, if you just, I'm just going to chuck this into my calculator and see what I get. So I have 2 plus 49, bracket close, bracket times 3, I get 149. So t50 should equal to 149. Okay, now that concludes question 2. Let's move on, uh, well, question 2, part B, let's move on to question C. Now it says, find the sum of the first 30 terms. Now, we've already established that this is an important formula. It's important, but there is also one more formula that might actually really be important as well, and that's finding the sum of uh, multiple terms. Now, you realize that in, um, in arithmetic progression, you're going to be coming across many formulas, and mainly because all the real work is already done for you, and they've already converted into formulas. So, we should be pretty grateful about this. Anyways, 
the formulas actually do have a logical meaning, and I'm sure you could reverse engineer them to figure out how it actually works, because it's not that difficult, and obviously that's how it forms. So anyways, let's go to the next thing. This formula is also something that you should be able to recall, and it's quite important. So I'm just going to write it out for you guys. It's Sn equals n over 2 to the 2a plus bracket n minus 1 bracket close d okay so what this is I'm just gonna annotate it really quickly like, like I've done before so s means sums sum so sum of n means the number to the sum is going to so number that's also number so that's what it is and okay a we already know this is the beginning term Adding on, n is the number again. Then we have d, which is the distance. Now, you might ask me, what the hell do you mean by number, by beginning term, distance, and all this? But um, it's just the same as we've done before. Distance is still saying the same. The beginning term is still the same. And all we need to do is find the number, the number until they want us to find the sum tool. So in this, in this question, it says, find the sum of the first 30 terms. So let's do that. So we, we can just quickly uh, convert this into our, you know, our formula. So here you go, s to the 30, because 30 is our number that we need to find it till. 30 over 2, bracket 2, and I'm just going to times it by a, which we can remember was 2, and then plus n minus 1, so 29, and times the d, which is 3. So now, let's just figure this out. If you chuck this into your calculator, you should get a pretty decent answer. So I'm just going to do that now, and I'll tell you what I get. So 30 over 2 times 2 to the 2 plus 29 times 3. And you end up getting number something around the lines of 1,365. Okay, so concluding this lesson, here's something that you guys can just quickly jot down. It's the stuff that we covered today. It's finding the nth term and finding the sum of a specific amount of numbers. And I hope it really did help, and I hope this introduction to arithmetic progressions was good. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.